In 2017, I was awarded a Wellcome Trust Senior Fellowship in Clinical Science to conduct a trial called CHETSA. CHETSA, which stands for Community-Based Interventions to Improve HIV Outcomes in Youth, is a cluster randomized trial aiming to investigate the impact of providing an integrated package of HIV and sexual and reproductive health services to youth to improve HIV outcomes. This is a youth-friendly service which we are giving to young people aged 16 to 24. It's being done in three provinces of Zimbabwe, which are Harare, Ulawayo, and Marshall Island East. Uh, stratification was done by province, with each province having eight clusters, which were randomized one-to-one -to, -one to the intervention or to the standard of KM. In each respective province is four clusters, which are providing the services as part of the intervention. We expect between 30,000 to 40,000 young people to access services in the CHIEDSA study during the course of the two years. CHIEDSA offers a package of services to young people aged 16 to 24 years in the community. The package of services that we offer include HIV testing, STI services that include screening and syndromic management. We distribute condoms such as these, contraception, uh, we also provide general health counselling, HIV um, treatment initiation, as well as adherence support through CAPS groups. CHIEDSA also offers a referral to other healthcare services in the communities that we operate in. Today I would strongly want to talk about HIV testing. We have a very youthful environment for the youth and they really feel free to come to access our services. I feel like us giving them choice to choose between provider testing and self-testing is really helpful. We are trying to promote self-test so that we empower the youths. They have uh, that choice to choose from uh, what they really want to do. My job really is to make sure that as Chiyadza we're providing all the menstrual health needs for the young women that come into our service. So as part of my work, I am the um, MHM lead for Chiedza, which means I will be conducting my PhD research on menstrual health amongst young women in Zimbabwe. We are providing information education on menstrual health as well as a choice of menstrual products, the period pants, reusable pads and the menstrual cup. And what we've seen in Chiedza is there is a huge unmet need for menstrual health. So we have a lot of young women coming to Chiedza for menstrual health, but that allows us to engage in a conversation about reproductive health and then talk to them about getting tested for HIV or STIs or even getting onto contraception. Really in Zimbabwe, this is the first study of its, of its kind, looking at menstruation in such great detail qualitatively and quantitatively. And hopefully at the end of my PhD, I will be an expert in menstrual health amongst young people in Zimbabwe. My role is to offer counseling and guidance. The advantage with shares are here I think is uh, we, there's always a counsellor on site and we always have enough time for the for the youth when they come here. Uh, young people are, are given an opportunity to, to really say out everything that they want. Just the talking has so far uh, worked to them and they've, they're even coming back like to say the psychosocial plan that we had, we've, I've started doing this, now I'm able to do this, now I'm talking to my mother, now I'm talking to my father, now my relationship is okay and they are quite happy. We will also investigate the uptake, yield and feasibility of providing uh, diagnostic STI testing in a community-based setting. What it means is that when people come to Chietza, they are told about STIs and then if they want to be screened, they will have to provide a urine sample. The urine samples are then taken to the laboratory and in the laboratory we test the urine samples and within 90 minutes you get the test result of either being positive for chlamydia, chlamydia and gonorrhea, gonorrhea alone or negative. The positive results, we try to actually um, uh, proactively contact people to get them back and get them onto treatment. In addition, we um, provide um, all those clients testing positive with um, a partner notification test because obviously just treating them isn't good enough. You need to treat the partner as well, otherwise they reinfect each other. So um, the partner, no matter if it, um, the partner lives within the cluster or not, is also treated free of charge. The trial has several innovative aspects. Firstly, there is an active strategy for engaging youth in both the design, delivery and evaluation of 
the intervention. What we've done is we've created a package of services in the community for young people. We've packaged them in such a way that they're fun, they're vibrant, um, they're in spaces where young people want to be, they're spaces where young people can interact with each other. While young people are in the spaces, they can also access services. And so we set up um, booths within the youth centers where if a young person is playing pool, for example, um, they can also you know, step away from their friends and get an HIV test. They can step away from their friend and speak to somebody like a counselor about relationship problems or any substance abuse issues they might be having. So my role here is to make sure I get to screen them. boundary. Give them information. I'm a service to the Niga Lapa, because I'm a new one. I give them information. Lapa. As you can hear, it's very loud here. It's happening. There's too much music. I'm in charge of entertainment here. You mean Kanye Entertainment Lapa, I have for sure that you move a woman, this year called Lisa. Everything is happening. So the cheers are so good. Kanye, cheers are later bring back together the unity. Yeah, my youth, they can interact. And also we have realized with the cow openness, this is what they are facing, this is what they want. And as Chedza, we have been in a position to provide what they want in as much as we can. Finally, the trial will conduct a detailed process evaluation and also a cost-effectiveness study to inform scalability should the intervention prove effective. The process evaluation study really aims to describe and understand how the Chiedza intervention is effective, ineffective or results in unintended outcomes. And the way that we're trying to do this is by a lot of data collection. I talk to our intervention implementing team about what they're doing on the ground, how they're doing it, why they're doing it. Is it the same as we wanted it to be done based on our protocol and our manual of operations? In addition to the Chiedza process evaluation, I'm also doing my PhD, which is a process evaluation of the family planning intervention that we're offering within Chiedza. So I'm looking at how within the broader trial we're offering family planning services within a community setting. I'm looking at mechanisms of change, what makes young people decide to take up family planning, as well as contextual issues, so things that are happening in the country and the community that affect family planning. So really understanding what is happening in Zimbabwe and how does that trickle down to the way we're doing Chiedza, what is happening in the communities that Chiedza is um, is being implemented in and how does that impact uh, the study at the end of implementation, whether or not the trial was effective. The trial is being conducted in partnership with the Zimbabwe Ministry of Health and Child Care, provincial health authorities as well as municipal health authorities in Harare and Bulawayo. We are also working with a number of NGOs who serve as implementing partners for the intervention. The trial outcomes will be ascertained through a large population-based survey of 24,000 young people across the study sites. The primary outcome is HIV-1 viral load, but the survey will provide an opportunity at investigating a number of important health behaviors and outcomes. These include smoking and alcohol use, drug use, as well as mental health, and family planning. This will be the largest survey of youth in Sub-Saharan Africa.